Okay, our next song is a personal one for myself. It's how I feel around friends, family. I should really get some professional help. Nobody knows I'm here. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to JBox Studios, your home for reviews, reactions, and ridiculousness. Anyways, though, Netflix today dropped a new international movie. I was able to go check it out, and it's a new drama with some musical elements, and it's called Nobody Knows... I'm here. Traumatized by his experiences, a reclusive singer nurtures his pain until he meets a woman who really hears him. So as nobody knows I'm here, a great little drama on the Netflix platform. Let's find out. But before I get into my thoughts, let me know what you guys thought of Nobody Knows I'm Here. If you've already seen this film or now, very much looking forward to it. Now let's get into some of the good. So right off the bat, this is the debut film from filmmaker, director Gaspar Antillo, I believe. And... This guy knows what he's doing in this film. There's a lot of great elements from the story to the cinematography to the character development. And again, that falls on the script writers or the screenplay writers. But getting into the film, the te technical aspects or from the filmmaker's eyes, the cinematography. And I don't want to be like a snooty being like, oh, the cinematography. But the cinematography of this movie is delightful. It's a lot of overhead drone shots, a lot of scenic uh, scenes of kind of a rundown, empty cabin, the forest that's very empty and dreary and isolated, and it sets the mood of the movie overall of this character who is essentially in isolation, who is essentially hiding from his past life. And I think that Every shot that they do, including some tracking shots following the character through the house, it set the mood, it set the tone, it, it, it set up this kind of eerie feeling drama or depressed feeling throughout this movie because it... The, just the cinematography alone lets you know how the characters are feeling and that's another thing is coming into the cinematography is the story is the structure of everything of how this movie really played out is how it focuses on this isolated guy through this story and you don't know exactly how or why this person is in essentially hiding and through different aspects of the story of fantastical almost hallucinations of flashbacks of footage that is you know older footage and grainy footage of almost like a little bit of a documentary or tv show you can piece together what has happened to this character what has been taken from him what he has been through and what or where his journey has gone and kind of the hardships that he has really lived through that ties into the title nobody really knows i'm here or nobody knows i'm here which i thoroughly appreciated because i didn't want to be hit over the head with just boom this is what happened exposition you know flashbacks it does a great job it does a unique way of really storytelling this story in a quick 90 minutes might i add but the standout the core the main person that really holds this movie together or really is the standout for myself is jorge garcia playing memo who you know you know him from lost hurley all of that stuff but i would say that this performance and i haven't seen a lot of his films recently but probably his best performance since lost he is very kind of this bigger lumbering he's subtle he is shy he's just kind of this almost bigfoot in isolation type character who is very much almost ashamed of his previous life, but really there's pieces of that previous life that he wishes that he had actually had. And it's this unique element of the character of, you know, he's very soft, he is almost like a gentle giant. But the way that the character is developed, the way that he portrays this character, it's this gentle giant, but at the drop of a pin, he can essentially turn into this dangerous beast type character because of, again, the torment that he has gotten from the, his past and the things that he has been through and the things that he essentially didn't get. And again, the way he had portrayed the character combined with the cinematography and the story, it combines so well to fully tell this story of this character. But then the last part, any music kind of movie with musical elements that I, I want the song to really kind of tie back to the character either being a catchy song or really symbolizing how the character feels and tying in with the cinematography there's like this longer shot towards the end of the movie where our main character memo actually sings the song nobody knows I'm here and the way that it is shot and the lighting and the way that the character is portrayed along with the lyrics of the song you can feel 
the pain that this character has really gone through through his whole entire life and what essentially was stolen from him. So I thought that the song in this movie encompasses and ties together everything. This movie does steer into a little bit of surreal fantastical with some flashbacks and some almost like hallucinations or scenes that seem or take you out of reality. It, I would say that it leans a little bit more into the artsy type, indie type feel movie. So this is not going to land with a lot of people out there. I know that I thoroughly knew what the filmmakers were going for, but this is going to be for essentially casual fans out there. It might be a little too much, but it might be a little weird. It might be a little too strange for you for certain scenes, uh, specifically with glitter and someone getting sick. Overall, Nobody Knows I'm Here was a solid drama film surprise on the Netflix platform. With it hitting on all of the aspects of filmmaking, cinematography, technical aspects, screenwriting, performances, uh, there's a lot going for this film, but with a few maybe surreal elements that might take the casual fan out of this, I would highly recommend checking out Nobody Knows I'm Here. Again, I knew nothing about this movie going in. It is fantastical, it's almost depressing at times, but it does feel like it gives the character a great finish of almost like feeling like he is finally whole again. In closing, I'm going to give Nobody Knows I'm Here four out of five lip syncs. So what did you guys think of Nobody Knows I'm Here if you've already seen this movie or now very much looking forward to this new drama musical type movie on Netflix? I want to know in the comments down below. Anyways though, as always, thank you so much for watching. Watch some more videos up there or right over there. You know, brand new content every single week, every single almost day here on the JBuck Studios channel. I don't know what's coming the next couple days. Stay tuned for all of that. Follow my social media down there. Like this video. Subscribe to the JBuck Studios channel. And until next time, we'll see you later.